Good morning, Bengals fans. Got some outstanding news. The Cincinnati Bengals, believe it or not, have made a trade prior to the 2024 NFL trade deadline. Khalil Herbert, Bears running back, is on his way to Cincinnati. And, of course, that is going to be the focus of our show today. The Bengals absolutely needed to make a move at running back considering guys like Zach Moss and even Chase Brown are a little bit banged up right now for this Cincinnati Bengals football team. They, of course, have Kendall Milton on the practice squad, but it was really imperative to bring another body in, another guy that has some um, you know, experience in this league and has seen some success in this league as well. And the Bengals get it done this morning bringing in Khalil Herbert. So we'll um, unpack that. Plenty to discuss about that, but certainly exciting. Cincinnati finally made a move at the trade deadline here in 2024. How about that? Make sure you guys hit that sub button if you have not done so already because when Bengals breaking news hits, we have got you covered here at Bengals Breakdown with a video. Tom Pelissero just breaking this very recently, and we've got you covered here with a video here this morning. So help us out. Help yourself out. Hit that sub button so you don't miss any Bengals breaking news as we go forward. YouTube.com slash Bengals TV. Here's who broke the, no, uh, the news, as I mentioned, Tom Pelissero of NFL Network saying that the Bears are sending Khalil Herbert to the Cincinnati Bengals. Obviously uh, helps boost their backfield with Zach Moss's neck injury. Moss, of course, suffered this injury during a Friday walkthrough practice, which really is just so unfortunate. That's where T. Higgins actually suffered his quad injury as well. And there were reports that the, um, you know, the Bengals might be without Zach Moss for the entirety of the regular season, which obviously is a devastating blow to them. Moss, of course, a free agent acquisition this offseason, coming in from Indianapolis and has certainly done a good job filling in in the Bengals running back room. But instead, Bengals have to do something with Zach Moss being hurt. They trade for Khalil Herbert. Here is the compensation. The Bears are going to just receive a 2025 seventh round pick. And this is something we were essentially begging and pleading with the Cincinnati Bengals to do, right? They always love holding on to their draft picks. And in this situation, they had an opportunity to get rid of a day three pick and get some help immediately. And that is what we have here with this Khalil Herbert trade. Again, with the Bengals running backs being banged up at this point. Chase Brown, by the way, who had a career game last week for the Bengals in their win against the Raiders, um, is a little bit dinged up as well, dealing with a bruised rib. So he hopes to go, and there's optimism that he is going to be able to go on Thursday against Baltimore. But I expect Zach Taylor, Dan Pitcher, and this Bengals offensive staff to try to get Khalil Herbert involved as quickly as possible because they certainly need him. Leads us to the pinned comment of today's video. What is your one-word reaction to the Khalil Herbert trade? Mine is probably finally. Right, Because we've been sitting here pleading with this organization to do something, show some aggression, try to capitalize on the talent that they do have on their roster, try to capitalize on how good their quarterback is playing, and add a piece, they do so with Khalil Herbert. Certainly was hoping it would be a pass rusher. Um, still plenty of time before the deadline, uh, by the way. We are filming this a little bit before 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. So still plenty of time to add an additional piece. But for now, it is a running back. Certainly a position of need. And Khalil Herbert is coming to Cincinnati. A little bit about Khalil Herbert. Herbert, of course, was a six-round pick by the Chicago Bears, has played with the Bears throughout the entirety of his career. Um, this is his fourth year, so the final year of his rookie deal. Played his college ball at Kansas for several years before playing his last year of college ball at Virginia Tech, and that is the school, of course, that he got drafted out of. Herbert really hasn't seen a ton of time. Um, so far this year with the Chicago Bears, he actually has been a healthy scratch. The past two games, the Bears really weren't utilizing his talent, so it was pretty obvious that they were going to try to move him at the trade deadline. It was just a matter of who was going to be that team to trade for Khalil Herbert. On the season, as you can tell, only eight carries. And, um, you know, the past couple of years in 2023, he had 611 yards on the ground, 730 yards on the ground in 22. So really has, you know, shown that he has the ability to have success playing as a professional in the National Football League. But 
this year for whatever reason. Obviously, the Bears have DeAndre Swift, who's having a really solid year. They've looked away from Khalil Herbert, so it was only a matter of time before they moved him. And Cincinnati, of course, is the team on the other side that is going to get his talents. Really like um, you know, he is a small back, of course, but really like his ability to kind of break some tackles, be shifty as he's kind of navigating through the line of scrimmage. And as a small frame, a small body, he can really hide behind some of those big offense alignment and has got some speed as well. Not really a big third down back, so that certainly is going to be um, still an issue that the Bengals are going to address here moving forward. But certainly a good running back. You're basically giving up a seventh round pick. Obviously, there's value there, but that's definitely a piece that you could afford to lose in that seventh round pick and Khalil Herbert is going to be on his way to Cincinnati. We'll continue with our instant reaction to this Khalil Herbert trade here in a moment but first want to give a shout out to our friends over at Game Time. Look Game Time is a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting ticks to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Game Time Picks is the easiest way to find and buy tickets to live events. Tickets for the Bengals' next home game, December 1st, against those dreaded Pittsburgh Steelers are on sale now. So head on over to Game Time and get the best deals possible. My two favorite features on Game Time, the seat views. Get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy with Game Time. Secondly, the all-in pricing. Toggling this feature up front allows you to see your total up front so you don't get hit with any of those surprise fees at checkout like some of those other ticketing companies can get you with. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, but again, create an account, redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It's Game Time. Taking a look here at what the Bengals' depth chart at running back looks like. Now, according to the team site, they still had listed Zach Moss as that running back one. But we've really seen that switch over the past couple of weeks to Chase Brown really being that lead back for Cincinnati. And, of course, with Moss missing last week's game against the Raiders with that neck injury, Brown really asserted himself into that starting lineup and really didn't give up any snaps at all. was kind of expecting... Travion Williams to get some touches in that game against Vegas, but they really rode Chase Brown throughout the majority of that football game. So it'll be interesting to see how exactly Khalil Herbert fits into this offense. Again, Chase Brown is also a little bit dinged up with a rib issue, is expected to go on Thursday, but obviously a short week. You know, we'll uh, continue to play that by ear. But Herbert's a guy that can really come in and just you know take the load off of Chase Brown's shoulders a little bit. Brown, of course, second year back out of Illinois. It'll be really important for him not to get burned out. And he did, despite his really good game, um, you know, did get hit um, pretty hard a few times in that game against Vegas. And I, again, really just pleased that the Bengals were able to make a move here for Khalil Ho Herbert. I think it shows the fan base a lot. I mean, this fan base has absolutely ripped this organization, and rightfully so, for the lack of aggression. I think they understand as an organization, as a football team, that they've got a really, really top-of-the-line elite playing at the top um, of the NFL quarterback in Joe Burrow, and you have to not give up on the season. Again, I understand you didn't get out to the start that you had hoped, but, you know, you're starting to piece some things together. You looked great, obviously, against a weak Vegas team last week. And adding this piece at running back shows the fan base that, hey, we're here, we're going for it, and we are trying to win now. It's a great start. Again, hopefully several hours until the end of the trade deadline, or when the deadline comes, rather. Hopefully we see another move on the defensive side of the ball. But for now, I'm very pleased with this signing, this trade, rather. Grade the Khalil Herbert trade for me in the comments section, A, B, C, D, or F. Sound off for us. Let us know. I'm giving this an A. You needed a running back because your guys are banged up. Um, by the way, I have some belief in rookie uh, Kendall Milton, who's sitting on your practice squad, was called up for last week's game against Vegas. But you needed to bring in a guy that had been in the league for a while, has experienced some winning football, and has done some good things. You do that in Khalil Herbert. This is an A for me. But sound off in the comments, A, B, C, D, or F. And real quickly, I want to mention this from when Zach Taylor spoke at his press conference yesterday. Taylor said it's important you can have a guy that can take some of the workload off of him, meaning Chase Brown, whether that's a couple carries or that's some other snaps in other areas. He's proven he's a durable guy who can do a lot of stuff 
for us. So after, you know, Taylor spoke at that press conference yesterday, it kind of became clear to me that, oh, this organization looks like they're going to be trying to add a running back. It was just a matter if you were going to sign a veteran free agent who wasn't a part of a football team right now, or if you were going to make a trade, and ultimately it is the latter. The Bengals make a trade, and Khalil Herbert is coming to Cincinnati. Really excited about it. And um, look, I think this is a good start to the end of the trade deadline. And um, you know, I think the Bengals are in a position to be in a spot where they can go out there and really try to go on a run here based on adding a piece here, showing some of that aggression, adding a guy like Khalil Herbert. Look, he's not a team-changing, life-altering guy, but it shows you that this team is serious, a team that an organization that's proven they are unserious or not serious at all in the past, they're serious here in 2024 making a move at the deadline. Last chance for you guys to get interactive with our show here at Bengals Breakdown. Will the Bengals make any more trades? Sound off for us in the comment section. Type Y for yes or N for no. We want to know what you think. Will the Bengals make any more trades?